functional medicine vlog number two. Um, uh, first, look at my cute little Halloween fingernails. <laughs> um, I'm not feeling very good. So it feels like since Greg and I started working on our health, we've both been actually at times feeling worse. Um, I guess that when you're doing um, cleanses or um, the reset that that comes with cleanses and supplements and all the kind of things that the functional medicine doctor is recommending, you can feel worse before you feel better. Um, but what happened for me was, so the first month or whatever I was um, doing uh, essentially paleo, but really closer to Atkins. Um, and uh, so I wasn't eating any sugar, still not, no white flour, still not, no grain at all. Um, and, and then let's see, um, uh, just a, a lot of basic supplements and I actually felt like I had the flu for a while. Um, then I started to feel better. Um, then Greg and I both got our results back from, um, the labs and stuff and, um, the results were that Greg has leaky gut. I don't. Um, and he, we already knew he had sarcoidosis, which is an autoimmune disorder. Um, and we thought that I probably had Hashimoto's and I don't. So, in a sense, I was healthier than him, um, and I asked about probiotics. Um, they didn't put me on anything in particular, but they decided to put me on a liver GI detox, and I think that is making me feel worse. Um, but then I messed up because, so the next step was um, that I'm going to have Dr. Uh, McCabe, my psychiatrist, um, reduce my psychotropics because apparently doing um, gut repair helps with um, with psychology problems, you know, with the gut and psychology syndrome type thing. Anyway, um, so the what was my point? Um, brain fog. <laughs> Okay, so the first step was I was going to discontinue my um, 10 milligrams of Paxil, which was added for um, hot flashes, menopause, and um, I don't think I'm feeling good because of that, although Dr. McCabe insisted that wouldn't happen, but where I messed up was, so I had gotten my Wellbutrin refilled, and then for two days, because my pill boxes are so full now, I don't know if anything's missing, I didn't realize I hadn't put them into my pill boxes, and so um, over the weekend, I felt like I was going to die sick, um, until I realized, oh, it's the Wellbutrin and started taking again, but then I haven't been feeling 100% better, so... Um, today I was desperate and I just took my Paxil again. I'm going to probably have to have it for a while, like cut it in half. Um, even though Dr. McCabe kind of looked at me like if I needed to do that, I was a wuss or something. <laughs> I think I'm just really sensitive. Also, I'm wondering if doing it at the same time as the liver GI detox is helpful or not helpful. Hmm. Maybe I'll go into Daniel's and ask them some stuff about it. That's our local, um, like, vitamin shop place. Hmm. So I should add how Greg is doing. So this all started in January. It is now October, almost November. Um, and he had pneumonia. Um, he hadn't been feeling good for months, but it was, like, you know, not enough for him to complain that much and but then he got pneumonia and he basically didn't get better from it and his cough came back and he had this really weird episode of depression which um I've been depressed since I was 15 but he has never been depressed I've never seen him that upset about anything he doesn't even cry about the stuff that anyone would cry about um and so, long story short, we um, pushed for a CT 
um, to see why his cough came back and um, they discovered um, little dots all through his uh, um, lungs and so they said well it's either stage four lung cancer um, or let's figure out if it's not and that's when they figured out that it was sarcoidosis which mimics lung cancer um, basically uh, it's an autoimmune disorder that causes the body to kind of fight against some little part of the lungs or other tissue in the body and then create little um, masses around it but they're benign anyway so we thought oh great he's gonna be fine um, in fact he saw a pulmonologist and the pulmonologist said that um, he was asymptomatic which was confusing because he was having lots of symptoms so we we're like well then did those symptoms come from something else I don't know anyway so he continued to not feel better once seeing the um, functional medicine doctor and dr. Horacek um, said the last time he saw him oh well maybe you have esophageal cancer <laughs> I am sorry but I'm done hearing that my husband might have cancer it is not fun um, so he went to see a gastroenterologist who said, no, you most likely do not have esophageal cancer, um, but you probably have GERD. Um, he's had acid reflux, reflux for forever. And um, so uh, he had an endoscopy and the endoscopy showed he does not have cancer, he does have GERD. Um, but he's still not feeling better and the um, so he has another appointment with the pulmonologist for a uh, follow-up test. He'd had his breath work done and he actually doesn't have problems with his breath like that would indicate um, lung deficits like asthma or anything. Um, but um, I mean he's missing work. He's uh, His biggest symptom is that anytime he bends over he has this horrible gasping for air and then um, uh, coughing and coughing and coughing. So that gasping is not showing up on a breath test. It's something else that probably is Gerd related. But um, the question is, what is he supposed to do next in order to actually feel better? Um, and he is doing a whole um, bunch of different supplements than I am to kind of like heal his gut um, further because he does have the leaky gut. Anyway, um, it's confusing. <laughs> I hope we get to the point where we're making some progress.